Hey, welcome back to the shop. So, I've said in a couple videos that I was going to do this and I keep forgetting to. Um, I was going to show you guys how to convert an image into SVG, which you need to do in order to load it up into easel. So, what you do is, alright, so I've already found the image that I'm going to be um, using. So use Google, whatever you're looking for here. I'm look. I was. I'm going to do a uh, right arrow. I'm working on a sign for somebody that it requires a right arrow. So what you do is you just go and you click. You right click and you click uh, save image as. And it's you name it whatever you want to name it, and then um, you put it as JPEG or whatever the default is for it. Now, because I've already saved this, I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to hit cancel. All right, so then you want to go to Converto, Convertio, or however it is pronounced, dot com. You can Google that, and it'll bring you up to, let's see here, I'll show you exactly what. It so it's going to bring you to this screen right here. All right, so what you do is you click choose a file. And I'm going to find the image that I'm going to use right here. So then you click open. And so it's going from a JPEG and then you indicate what you convert it to. Once again, you need to convert it to SVG, but here are all the other options that you have that you can use. And then you click convert. All right. So the website's going to convert it, and this is absolutely free. This is a free software, so you're going to get ads and everything. Um, and then you just click download, and it will pop up down here saying it's downloading. Now, one thing you have to look at when you're doing this is when when it downloads, go ahead and click on it. Some images, the way that they have it set up, even though it looks like, oh, that's going to look really good, when you go to save the image and then when you try to convert it to an SVG it'll have like dots or this will all be faded black and it just won't convert correctly so this is exactly what is going to be loaded into easel which is what you want alright so I'm going to come over to easel and I've already got set up that I'm this sign is going to be five and a half by nine I'm going to use a 90 degree bit I'm going to go File, Import SVG. Now, I put it in my downloads, so there it is. All right, and then now click on Please Use the Right Arrow, and it's going to pop up whatever web browser you're using. It's not going to show you the image. It's just going to show you the symbol for the web browser. So you need to pay attention to when you are naming these things. Um, then you're going to click open. Oh, whoop. oh, user error, wrong image, file, import SVG. This is the one I want. There it is. All right. So that brought it into easel and then you're able to indicate how you want it cut and do all your fun stuff to it. But that is how you take an image off of the web, you save it as a JPEG or whatever default it is, go to the website and I'll, uh, I'll type the website in the description of the uh, underneath and then um, convert it, download it. Open up Easel, go to File, Import SVG, and it'll bring it in. Now, you so if the image is too big, it'll pop up with an error saying you need to rescale. Uh, Click on that, and it'll bring it down to where it'll fit, at least in this working area here. And then you can adjust it. So that is how you do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.